Good evening. I just started my personal two-day weekend from work and I am ready for another anti-Apple video about why iOS is on the down slope. Actually, that hoodie got a little hot, so I think I'm just gonna... <sighs> Much better. What I mean by this is that lately, there seem to be more problems with iOS. Hello, kitty. There seem to be more problems cropping up with iOS than Android lately in the past like three or four years. Let's go over them. A friend of mine on Snapchat mentioned to me today something that I can't remember and can't look back at it because Snapchat likes to eat chats. But it did kind of get the wheels turning and what I realized is that, oh my God, all the people talking about how Android is unstable and iOS is so much better, it just works and blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you a few things. We're going to start in 2015. A string of Arabic characters carried some Unicode that would crash or overload an iPhone's memory. The glitch was first reported by Italian tech blog Mobile World. Apple reps did not respond to a request for more information. Big souf prize there. And a notice on its support site says, or said, just because this was a long time ago, but bear with me. For our customers' protection, Apple doesn't disclose, discuss, or confirm any security issues until an investigation has occurred and patches or releases are available. I read this as, Apple does not discuss, disclose, or confirm security issues until an investigation has occurred and we have a line of bull to feed people on why it actually happened. And it's not for our customers' protection. My ass. It's for your own protection. Let's fast forward to 2016. Another bug surface that allowed a string of characters in English, Arabic, Ar Marathi, and Chinese to crash iPhones. Fast forward a little bit later in 2016. A video surface that caused iPhones to slow down and eventually stop for a few minutes while playing in Safari, which is your default web browser that you can't f change. Let's fast forward a little bit further to the beginning of 2017. Maybe things will get better there. Actually, no. A waving of a white flag, followed by a zero, followed by the rainbow emoji, you guessed it, crashed people's iPhones. You didn't even have to open the message necessarily. It would still just, if your phone was sitting there and it received that special combination of emojis and number, then it'd be like, <clears throat> let's move on a little bit to when iOS 11 came out. Upgraders to it experienced a 60 percent decrease in battery longevity. So then people were like, maybe iOS 11.1 will be better. Yeah, software update, we'll fix it. Sure. Wrong. iOS 11.1 came with 3D touch lag, app crashes, particularly iTunes music, which resulted in some people losing their entire music library. And one person claimed they couldn't even make a phone call. So that emergency phone call that you needed to make, just forget about that. Apple knows best after all, right? Like. Maybe by the end of 2017, they might have figured it out. Well, here, I mean, here's hoping, all right? Like, come on. Actually, there was that whole December 2nd bug. This originated with apps that had daily notifications, but caused some phones to crash and go into a boot loop every 10 to 30 seconds. So the phones in 2017 couldn't seem to handle, or at least a percentage of phones in 2017 from Apple, couldn't seem to handle notifications. Okay, but wait, that is not all. In that same week, there was a Mac bug that <clears throat> allowed anybody to log into a MacBook that was secured with a password by typing root as the username. And then, boom, bling. No way, that's Windows, but you get the idea. There's all your secure files out for anybody who knew how to spell the word root and hit enter to see. But then 2018 came around and, and you know, New Year's are a time where everybody can turn over a new leaf and, and you just kind of smooth the slate over, clean slate, whatever, turn, start over, get fresh, and fix their shit. But in 2018, actually, early on, there came a naughty little link that would, again, crash both the sender and the receiver's phone and force the device to respring because that's what they call their launcher springboard or cause the messenger apps to freeze and crash. Also, re-entering the same convert, the same message thread with that person would make the app crash again and again and again. So in order to get rid of that or get, regain the messaging ability back on your phone because of course you cannot install third-party 
texting apps on iOS, you had to delete that entire thread. Okay, so what if that thread had pictures from a now deceased family member? And that's a, a situation that I've run into before. Not with iOS and this naughty little link, but with people who do not want to delete their text messages because they have extremely important stuff in their threads. Too f***ing bad. Jesus. Like, oh my god. Hopes that they would have ironed everything out by the end of January were once again dashed when there was a little problem where Skype for iOS 11.3 would crash on sign-in. So have fun chatting with your non-iPhone using relative that's overseas or something. And then the most recent one, or at least the most recent and well-known one, is with iOS 11.2, where that single Indian character, wait, single Indian character would crash an iPhone. Not just an iPhone, actually. This would crash watches, tablets, and laptops. Just one little character could bring down the might that is iOS. People have even had to factory reset their phones because this f***ed it up so bad. This also would crash not just iMessage, but mail, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, messages, like Facebook messages, Slack, which, I don't know, Slack sucks. I hate Slack. So pretty much all the essential social media apps. And I'm thinking, damn. For as much as you guys like to use words to razzle-dazzle the public into believing your shit don't stink, your phones are seeming to have quite the problem with all the word things in the past few years, not just weeks. Like most of the problems that we've listed here have to do with text-based stuff. I think it's funny that Apple likes to use <clears throat> multi-syllable pretty sounding adjectives to wow its audiences that may not even know the meaning of that word. <coughs> Innovation. <clears throat> Yet it's had repeated problems with its devices over word-based stuff. I find this funny. Bid's over. We're gonna appreciate the Scotties now. Starting with Stuart Glover, Kyler, Stephen Nichols, Nick Hawks, Spidget, Sin O, Josh Utley, Shannon Jones, Unit Omega, John O'Brien, and Christopher Caswell. <laughs> Also to the Super Beamers, we have Albert and Mr. Patrick Hayes. And for the Beamers, it is Encrypted Buddy and Exocere. Stay skeptical and stay beam. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's in my nose. And this also counts for... Uh, oh, ow, my knee. Jesus!